Hey there, study fans. It's Camus. I'm back with another Chess Beauty. It's been a while, but uh, I'll continue to do these. Uh, my main project at the moment is working on uh, coffee house chess openings, but making an opening video requires a lot more research than doing an end game study. So anyway, this is to fill in until I uh, come up with uh, the other uh, opening videos. All right, this is a study by Prokop from 1925, and the stipulation is white to play a draw. And uh, you can see that white has a serious material disadvantage here, losing material disadvantage. So uh, take a gardener at it and uh, see what you can uh, come up with. All right, I assume that you've uh, tried to solve this. The first thing we should note is that a try such as bishop to b1 check is not going to get anywhere. After g6, uh, queening, queen to e3 check, king d5, queen b3, king to d6, bishop to b4 check, skewering, knight c5, uh, bishop takes knight, king takes knight, and then after queen to a3, we're picking up the queen for an easy win. So in the opening position, the uh, starting position, I mean, the virtually the only worth, worth considering is uh, knight to f8 check. And that's what we play. And now black's reply is forced. He has to come to h8. Now, the surprising knight to g6 is the only way for white to stay alive here. <clears throat> and of course, the king could come back to h7, but then we'll just go back to knight to h8, knight to f8, and that'll be a draw. Uh, unless, after knight to g6, black tries queen takes g6. Whereupon, white queens with check, king to h7, and now this would be an, uh, another good point to turn off if you didn't try to solve from the beginning and figure out what white should do in this position. Okay, excuse me, I backed up a move. Uh, first thing to note is uh, queen to g8 leads nowhere. King to h6, queen to h8 check, king to g5, king to d8, queen to f6, and this forces the exchange of queens after which uh, black has a winning advantage. Okay, so after king to h7, instead of queen to g8, which we just looked at, bishop to b1 is white's stellar reply. And uh, the, the idea behind this is that uh, if queen takes b1, then queen to f5, queen takes f5, and that's stalemate. So what is black to do in this position? After bishop to, to b1, well, he has the clever move, bishop to c3 check. And if he takes the bishop, this is not going to work out for him. King takes c3, queen takes b1, and, and white is just lost here. I mean, it's not going to be the easiest win in the world, but it should be enough to win. With the pawn, the, the extra pawn, the extra piece, um, white's days are numbered. So instead of after bishop c3 check, we place king to e3. <coughs> and black continues, bishop to d4 check, king to d2, bishop to e3 check, king to c3. And this is a, a bit of a merry-go-round here. Black can do this all day. If he continues, bishop to d2 check, king to d4, bishop to c3, king to e3, bishop to d4, king to d2, bishop to e3, king to c3, and so on. Um, this is what I liked about this puzzle, is this little amusing uh, chase by the bishop, where the bishop can't be taken. Um, so anyway, after king to c3, oh, black now has to take the bishop to avoid this drawing line, and see what you would play for white in this position. How can he be saved? Well, if you guessed queen takes g7, king takes g7, you were right because that's stalemate. And that's the point of this uh, beautiful little puzzle, as I said, from Prokop from 1925. So, not sure what I'm going to do the next uh, game, but
the position that we'll look at next for next as we did before we'll give you a sneak preview of the next position to solve this is from uh, Gurowitz from 1932 and it's white to play and win so have a go at it and the solution shall be revealed on the next chess beauty all right thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon